Hi guys, this is Nitin Nagpal, Director of Product at Rubric, and Cody. Hi, I'm Cody Hosterman. I'm the Technical Director at Pure Storage for VMware Solutions. Let's talk about VM, VM protection on uh, Flash Array. In a typical uh, VMware environment, when a backup in, is initiated, it requires a lot of process behind the scene to actually do the CBT or to do the, do the change block tracking, which may impact the performance of the primary workloads running on the VM. With Rubrik and Flash Array integration, what we have done is we use the APIs, REST APIs, coming from Flash Array to protect the environments or to protect, protect the VMs running on the uh, Flash Array. How this uh, integration works is uh, it, re it reduces the overall impact of your backup or protection uh, of your primary workload to less than 15 seconds. What it means is when a backup is initiated, within 15 seconds, we release the VM, Rubrik releases the VM, and does the, the CBT process in the background using a proxy uh, VM environment. It also provides VM granular backup or recovery. So you can go any point in time back and restore an entire VM or also do a file level recovery uh, from any, any point in time. You can also do a file browse or file search within the Rubrik UI. One other thing which I want to also talk to you about is the way we use our dedupe engine, where uh, the dedupe is used in between both Rubrik and pure storage. So uh, as you all know, Rubrik does global, uh, global dedupe. And also uh, in pure storage world, we do a uh, global dedupe as well. So with dedupe all over the place, or on both sides, we can actually have a very storage efficient uh, VM protection. With that, Cody, do you want to talk about the, uh, the steps on how we actually do the protection? Absolutely. Give me the orange marker here. So when you're talking about integration, the first thing you really need to go into is what's the problem? And Nitin hit on a little bit here, but let's go into a little bit more detail on the VMware snapshot issue that the integration helps your environment with. So first off, you have your virtual machine. And this is your production VM. And this VM, let's say, has one VMDK on a data store. Now, when you're going to back this up, the back of appliance, like Rubrik, is going to first take a VMware snapshot. And this VMware snapshot then takes all the new writes for the duration of this backup window. And then the backup appliance will take the change block tracking reads of the original source that's quiesced by this snapshot. And at the end of that backup window, this VMware snapshot is going to be deleted. And it's going to be reconsolidated back into the original one. And that process is very performance impactful to your virtual machine. And this is what this integration solves. So what happens? So in this scenario, once again, we have a single virtual disk on a data store. Now this integration supports multiple virtual disks on multiple data stores. But to keep this example simple, we'll just have one-to-one -one here. So same process, Rubrik initiates this backup through REST. REST API or the UI, or actually using the policy-based engine we have developed, which is called SLA domains. So you, can, you, you have many options to actually initiate the backup or recovery. A variety of ways. So Rubrik takes this VMware snapshot to quiesce that virtual machine, but then it takes a flash array snapshot and then deletes this snapshot from VMware. And so the process of this snapshot is very quick from a VMware perspective. And the amount of changes that need to be reconsolidated is essentially nothing, because this process takes seconds. So the benefits of a flash array snapshot is that it's, first of all, instantaneous. It can be created instantly. And also, it's 100% deduped. So there's no capacity footprint to creating this snapshot. And also, there's no performance impact. It's not a copy on write mechanism or anything like that. So Rubrik takes this flash array snapshot, presents it to the VMware environment, registers a proxy VM, which is a copy of this original source. And then the change block tracking reads come from this proxy virtual machine. And so the original production virtual machine is unaffected from a performance standpoint, and this backup window is much smaller as this production VM sees, but you still get the incremental backup so you can then move to do your file recovery, your VMDK recovery, or your entire virtual machine. That's great. So do you want to jump into demo now? Let's do it. Let's do it. So here we're in vCenter. We have a virtual machine named SQL Server, and it's running on my data store on my FlashRay M20. If we take a quick look at the FlashRay interface, we can see that the volume that hosts that data store currently has no flash array snapshots. So now let's flip over to the Rubrik interface. The first thing we want to do is identify that SQL Server VM inside my virtual machine inventory. I'll click on that virtual machine, 
And the next step is to enable the array integration for this virtual machine. And it's just one quick click. Now I can take an on-demand snapshot. I'll take a snapshot and add it to a policy. Of course, these snapshots can be scheduled as well via those policies. I'll click Take On-Demand Snapshot and flip back to vCenter. In vCenter, we can see immediately it's already created that VMware snapshot of that virtual machine. Now, back in the flash ray, we'll see that the snapshot has been created by a rubric for that volume. And that snapshot has been presented back to the cluster as a new volume, a copy of the original source. Back in VMware, we can see that that VMFS data store is being resignatured and mounted. After the resignature process, the VM is registered, as you can see it has appeared, as a proxy virtual machine. And now the backup process is going from that proxy virtual machine instead of the original source. So there's no performance impact whatsoever. And that's it. Simple. <laughs>